The most beautiful pink velvet cake you've ever seen is soft, fluffy, moist, and has just a hint of pink. The secret to this delicious cake is buttermilk and the reverse creaming method. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, so let's start making our pink velvet cake. Place four ounces of your milk into a separate container and then add in your oil. Go ahead and set that aside. So now we have our egg whites. Go ahead and add your remaining milk in with that, then your vanilla. And then I'm gonna add just a little drop of pink food coloring. This is AmeriColor Electric Pink Food Color, but you can use whatever color you like. Blue, green, orange, it's up to you. Whisk that to combine and set it aside. Okay, so into the bowl of our stand mixer with the paddle attachments attached, I'm gonna add in my flour and my sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and our salt. Place my little shield on here so we don't get flour all over my camera. And then I'm just gonna add in my butter in small chunks. And we're just mixing until it resembles a nice coarse kind of sandy texture like so. Go a little bit longer. Okay, now I'm going to add in my buttermilk and oil mixture and we're gonna mix for two minutes and this is gonna develop that velvet texture. I'm doing low because I'm using my Bosch mixer, but on your KitchenAid, it would be like a medium. The reason why we have to mix for two full minutes is because we are coating all of the flour in butter, which actually inhibits the gluten development. So if you don't mix for two minutes, your cake is going to have a poor rise, it's gonna be crumbly and not very velvety. Not what we're going for. Look how fluffy and white that is. That is what we were looking for. I know people are going to ask if they can use whole eggs instead of white eggs, and the answer is only if you want your pink food coloring to turn orange, so it's up to you. <laughs> we use just the egg whites so that it stays nice and pink. So now on low, I'm going to drizzle in my milk mixture. And after it's just homogenous looking, you're done. It's like melted strawberry ice cream. Okay, I'm just gonna cake goop three six inch pans or you could use two eight inches. You can also use another pan release if that's what you prefer. I'm just gonna divide my batter evenly between three pans. Looks so pretty, I love it. And then I like to weigh all of the pans to just see how close I got and then give myself a little high five. If you live in a high altitude, you can check out my blog post on adjusting any of my cake recipes for high altitude. All right, go ahead and place these in the oven at 335 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the center is fully cooked. Depending on how big your pan is, this could take longer or shorter. When your pink velvet cake is all done, go ahead and take it out of the oven and give it a little tap and you'll notice that the top shrinks down a bit. That's totally normal and it just helps the hot air that's inside the cake release evenly. Then we're gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes before we flip them out to cool fully. I like to put mine in the refrigerator wrapped in plastic wrap before I stack and fill them with frosting. I like to trim off the brown edges of my cake because it makes for prettier slices. This is definitely not necessary, but if you're a little OCD like I am, then you're gonna wanna trim off those edges or you can use baking strips. We're gonna frost our pink velvet cake with some stabilized whipped cream, but you could use easy buttercream or any other kind of frosting that you like. Velvet cake goes especially well with cream cheese frosting and ermine frosting. You can find all of those frosting recipes on my blog, sugargeekshow.com. I like my whipped cream to be fairly soft because I like it to be very smooth, but if you want your whipped cream to be firmer, you can definitely do that and just whip it a little bit longer. I'm just going to do a quick crumb coat to seal in all of that velvety goodness and then chill this in the freezer for about 15 minutes before I do my final coat. All right, our cake has been chilling in the freezer, just enough for the outside to be set. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish frosting. I've also transferred my, my uh, cake to a, to a cake board or you could do a cake plate. have a little comb here from Esther Cakes. It has a nice little design on the side. You could just smooth this out with a spatula or a bench scraper, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna build up the sides nice and thick. And 
then you can use your comb to add the design. Let's go little bits at a time. And you can straighten out that top edge again. I'm gonna place my leftover whipping cream into a piping bag. I'm gonna pipe a border down at the bottom. And I'm gonna pipe some cute little rosettes up at the top. I'm gonna to top this with some fresh raspberries. And then I'm gonna finish it off with just a little bit of powdered sugar. I'm gonna place this into the refrigerator for about an hour just to have the whipped cream set up before I serve it. And our pink velvet cake is complete. The texture of this cake is so soft and tender, it seriously is like biting into a cloud. The perfect cake for Valentine's Day, or really any occasion. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other recipes on my blog. I'm Liz Merrick, and I'll see you next time. Bye!